All right. Going live. I am live. Hello. So let's see. We already got some people waiting in the chat. We got Get Lost Games. It's 2.05 where they're at. Well, 2.15 now. Uh, Damien says hello, and he got a score of 1080 and dodge him, beating all five levels without dying on all four difficulties. Very well done. Nicholas, Ayami, Mark is here. Uh, Zaymot, Alpha Timberwolf, Radio Poultry, let's see, Colezilla, he hasn't seen this game before, Tony's here, Cool and Unusual's here, perfect timing, rough day, and I just want to zone out watching me play Roadrunner. I don't know how good I'll be though, because it's been a while since I played it, Afflicted is here, not that I was that quite, quite, um, good in it uh my i haven't i'm not this greatest when i was playing it it's been a while so we'll see how i do uh let's see pack uh pack man music man i have to say that three times fast eric and dylan let's play a dumpster dog okay so let's go ahead and german name so here we go we're gonna play roadrunner and let's see what I remember. So you can see it has a copyright year 1989. Like that's like NES. I think the Genesis is coming out. Natasha's here too. Uh, Uyamiko's here. Very cool. All right. Yeah, 1045 where I'm at. So I did, I did play for a couple seconds beforehand. Uh, and I'm already caught. So... One thing you want to do is you want to get all the seeds in succession without missing one. You see how they're going up in value? And I'm getting hit. So I'm doing a poor job, but I'm trying to explain. So if I miss a seed, it goes back down to 100. But you can max out at 1,000. And that's one way you can really get a good score. So 5,200 for my first score. Let's see. So one, one option. This level is actually kind of easy if you don't try to get the seeds let's see can I and if you can okay now I'm going to give some space see I got him hit and I got points for that too I'm doing terrible because there's different levels let me see if I could do there's supposed to be a way you can like circle around him and you could jump see there you go I had him hit you get bonus points for that nope <laughs> but it's hilarious hey dank uh, how you doing jeremiah so usually when i would play this i would just try by the way the looney tunes theme is really good i hope it's coming across on the stream oh, i don't know i'll skip that one i can't believe oh i'm doing so bad i know i can do better than this I've definitely done better than this. <laughs> XJ, I'll just let it go. Oh, that's all right. No weirds. Okay, let's see if I can do better. I can do better than this. This way, everybody. Bird seed. I think the game was started before the crash. I can't remember. It may have been mothballed, you know, for a while. Now, this level, I think you could just outrun him. Oh. So, I'm just going to try to keep surviving now. Can I get down? Yeah, I got him. See? Uh. Come on. So, you want to lead the coyote into the obstacles because he'll follow you. Do a few jumps here. Okay, here here we go. Second level. This is as far as I got when I was practicing. Oh. So those things are are like mines. You want to lead them into them. I saw a video where someone... See? And he blows up. I saw a video where someone was able to jump over the mines 
and over the gap. And I, I don't, I don't know. You have to have great timing to do that. It's amazing how they actually got some of the feel of the cartoon in this game, like the coyote setting these traps for the Roadrunner, but it's the coyote who gets blown up. And a level two. Okay. Steel shot. Oh, no. Not the... Ah. I think of this one might... Oh, it's been a while. So 19,600. Not terrible. I think the top score is like 39,000. Let's see what's... Norberto's here. Let's go on in the chat real quickly. This is a 16 kilobyte game, making it uh, more complex than almost any other. Yeah, that's from Satoshi. Hey, Satoshi. I've heard of this homebrew game. No, this isn't homebrew. It, homebrew. This was uh, this was officially released. This one, and it's well done too. It's funny you play as the Roadrunner escaping the coyote, and not the other way around. Yeah, you could be the coyote, but then like that's kind of grim, right? If you catch him, it, didn't they? There was that Genesis game. Demolition, something demolition. I reviewed it. I think you do both. I think you could play as a coyote or the Roadrunner, or or does it alternate? Hello, Green Hat and XJ. I think the game just loops. I don't know how many levels it has, like four, five, or six, but I think it loops. I've never gotten to the. I've never. This game is fun, but it's also. It's also a little bit on the difficult side for me. Ugh. There we go. You can hear the little meep meeps. Nope, not time. No! No! They're all gonna laugh at you. There we go. Oh, that's a trouble if you're doing too well. Uh, I, I need to start again. John says this is probably more fun than Death Valley Rally. I don't think I played that one. And I've never played the NES version. I don't own... That's one of the few... Um, Desert Demolition. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Darius. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's Desert Demolition where you can, I think, I think you could choose. I can't remember if you could choose to either be the Coyote or the Roadrunner or they just have you alternate. I think, I think you. Satoshi says the only copies on eBay were PAL. Oh, that stinks. This is one of those games which for a while, you, like it was easier to find new because of like unsold stock. Oh, there's no, they didn't. They stopped once I left the screen. Okay, so like you could go back and get it if you need to, but once you leave the screen, then you it drops down. So it, you can like miss one, but go back and get it. Ooh, that hurt. See, but my score's already doing better because I've. See, I could try to. Look at, I'm actually going around him. I actually did that a few times. I think there's a way they say you could dizzy him. I can't remember. All right, end of level one. That was now, but I don't have any lives left. No. Oh, he got me. He got me. Like I said, someone I saw, they could jump over the mine and still jump again. Yeah, Darius says, yeah, you could play as either the road, you choose, Roadrunner or Coyote. 
Oh, it's meep meep, right? I'll I'll reset so you could hear the it or beep. Well, it says beep beep. I thought it was meep meep. Thanks, Natasha. Two dollar super chat. I I appreciate that. Jeff says the twenty six hundred plus would do both regions. Yeah. I'm sorry I can't keep up with the chat today. Oh, did someone else give me a super chat? And I missed it. Tony did. The coyote actually caught the Roadrunner one cartoon. He did? Oh, I'll have to like Google that later. YouTube that. Yeah, I miss I miss like Looney Tunes being on. Looney Tunes was one of those things um where I enjoyed them as a kid, but as I got older, I got kind of sick of seeing it every you know they would have them weekdays and saturday mornings and after a while i just felt like i kept seeing the same ones over and over again like how many times can you see the opera one with bugs bunny i mean quite a few it's a good one it's it's a good one right but it like after a while as a kid i but as i got older i appreciated it and i and actually at dollar tree one time they had a looney tunes dvd that I ended up picking up from my family. Oh, missed it. Okay, let's just keep going. Because he's gaining on me. I don't want to lose the first level. Oh! The one nice thing is because the truck got him too. Even in death, I earned a thousand points. So, like, that's that's a trick with this game. You can either go for the points or just try to complete the level. Let's just exit. All right, let's see if I could do better this time. Got to watch out for the mines. Oh, come on. See, sometimes, there we go, there we go, it's like sometimes a coyote runs out of breath and he slows down a little bit, oh no, he got me, but like the coyote should never be able to outrun you, right? Hang on, let me take a sip of tea. Today I got my 2800 from Japan. So if you guys don't know, the 2800 was the 2600 released in um, in Japan. And and it looked like a 7800, and I believe the 7800 was based on that design. Hey, Norberto, the 199 Super Chat. Thank you. Cup of coffee time. Beep, beep, or meep, meep. This could be an example of the Mandela effect. That is so true. I never saw the Lily Tunes back in action movie. Was it any good? I'm just, I'm just checking them out. Okay, let's do this again. But I'll be I'll be honest with you. When I was a kid, my favorite Looney Tune character, who I thought was just hilarious, was Speedy Gonzalez. I gotta gain some, so I'm going to try to actually. Okay, let's reset. I'm going to not do for a high score this time. I'm going to try. This is for a high score challenge on my Discord server, by the way. I mean, I'll still try to get some bird seed as I come by it, like this. There, got him. See, that's a thousand points, also. There we go. But I was a big fan of Speedy uh, Speedy Gonzalez. I thought he was hilarious. I just need to stay in the. If I stay up here, that truck shouldn't get me because I only think it shows up in the bottom half. There we go. All right. Good. Oh, 
Oh no, he's catching up. Oh, look at that. He's getting, he's slowing down. I'm going to just keep going straight for now. It's like if I move, he gains more speed. Ooh, that's a good that's a good um graphic of of you blowing up. That looks like the charred remains of the roadrunner. There we go. There we go. Finally. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell, but he had a magnet, and you eat the steel shot. That's the bigger ones. You eat that. You could still eat it for points, but his magnet can draw him in closer to you. You should check out Speedy Gonzales on the Game Boy. He plays like Sonic. Oh, very cool. So Nicholas is a fan of Bugs Bunny. Slowpoke Rod Rodriguez. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Music is good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Tellerico stole it, right? Reused it for something else. What's in the middle? I think it's just supposed to be gaps, but maybe lava? I forget. All right, let's see if I could get faster. That's a good question. Who's faster, Speedy Gonzalez or Roadrunner? I'd say Speedy because he was insanely fast. Like, did he, like, get eaten by a cat and, and, like, end up, like, going through his tail or something? Am I thinking right? And, of course, Tiny Toons was great. I really like the Dodo and Tiny Toons, even though it wasn't really based on some main character from Looney Tunes. I thought Dodo was the funniest in that one. And who was it, Maximilian or something like that? I had a Plucky Duck game that I bought from Blockbuster used on clearance for, it's like five or six bucks. But it was like Plucky Duck's Adventure or something like that. I, I, I don't remember really anything about the game, so I guess that says a lot. Or than I owned it. Look at this. There's like none of those mines. That was weird. There was no mines, but I'll take all the thousand points. I wonder why it did that. No. Okay, let's see if I... Oh, I tried to do that. There we go. He will slow down. No! That was so... That was cheap. I'm sure there's a way to avoid it, but... Oh! I definitely think that um oh yeah i think that's what i did i would keep them on screen i, I would keep them on screen and wouldn't let him get off it's been like a year or two since i played this but i remember now that i would keep them on screen so he wouldn't use those rocket shoes Oh, and I, come on, get to the end. There we go. Whew. Okay, level three. Oh, that's so cheap. So cheap. Plucky Duck's Big Adventure. Yeah, that probably was it. Yeah, Mel Blank was great. Trying to get through. Go, go, Dodo. Yeah. Yeah. 
Montana Max, Yosemite Sid, Sa, Sam's Kid. Dodo was based on Yo-Yo Dodo, also known as Dodo Bird, the wacky bird who first appeared in 1938 Looney Tune short Porky and Wacky Land. Yeah! Undelay, 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 arriba, arriba. Isn't that what Speedy would say? Hey, Mr. Bobot. And Joe Fan, I don't know. I apologize if I missed anybody because I was paying attention. But did anybody um, watch the back in... Uh, hey, Jerome, did anyone watch the back in action movie, the Looney Tunes back in action? Like, was it with Brendan Fraser, right? Was that any good? I never seen it. Yeah, if you eat the bigger pellets, then he can use his magnet. Okay. Does it show me my high score? Because I forgot what I got there. Because it might have been my best score. Let me take... No, my score wasn't that great, but... Oh, that... Man, that's so hard to avoid those trucks right there. Like, I want to get the, um... Oh, well, I'm not going to get the bonus. Let's just go as far as I can. I just don't have the reflexes to be near the bottom. There, I got him. No, that's too far down. I think I got him there. Ha! <laughs> I love those Atari bleeps and bloops. Sound was definitely a weak area for the 2600, but the jingle sounds good. There's a mine. <laughs> nope. Oh, he's closing in. <laughs> well, at least I got some points out of that. Oh, I tried to go right below it and I just didn't move enough. So I'm playing, this is a real cartridge, by the way, 2600 Junior. I'm using my Sega Genesis three button controller, which you can use the B button to play. Just in case, I know sometimes people like, are, like, what are you playing this on? No, you already got the, the shoes. Oh, he still got me. I thought I did a good job evading him. Greenhead, I watched Looney Tunes back in action. It's pretty good. Highly recommend it. Did anyone watch Space Jam 2? That's a good question, too, because I saw the first Space Jam, and I thought it was okay. Like, like, um, there's two versions of the Wacky Land episode? I might have to look into that. I thought it was, I thought Space Jam, the original was okay. Like, I liked the look of the characters. The story itself was just kind of eh. So I wasn't really excited to see it with LeBron. Just, I'm just being real, you know. I think Michael had a better charisma in front of the camera, uh, generally. So I haven't seen a lot of the modern ones. And then, I, it's not Looney Tunes, but then, you know, I went from Looney Tunes to Animaniacs. Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Brain was a really good spinoff. One of the better spinoffs. Maybe one of the greatest animated spinoffs. I don't know how many animated spinoff shows there have been. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Take that, coyote. Oh, 
Okay, level one. This uh, past Christmas, the fam and I did watch, um, I don't know when it came out, if it was 90s or 2000s, but it was like a retelling of A Christmas Carol with Daffy Duck as a store owner. And um, he was the Scrooge, okay? Which makes sense. It, it fit. And I thought it was pretty good. Now, I'm a sucker for Christmas Carol, like I'll, like almost any version I enjoy. I mean, the George C... I mean, I know it's totally not the season, but the George C. Scott version was definitely... The, oh, I tried to do it and I couldn't pull it off. George C. Scott version is like the definitive version. The Muppet one's pretty good too. But this Looney Tunes one for like a TV special wasn't too bad. So let me keep my strategy. Let's keep them close. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Isn't that kind of the... Because if you keep him close, he doesn't eat the... um, Or he doesn't put on... Oh, see, so he got the... He has the... I have to wear him out now. Ooh, he got me. There we go. Oh. Keep him close so he doesn't get on the rocket skates. Oh, I tried to get him in front of that car. I got greedy for a second there. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that's hilarious. I like the little ash form of the character. Okay, level three. Okay, I think I need to do the same because if I... Oh, there's a gun in this level. How'd I hit that? That stinks. I guess I have to jump over that. So yeah, 7800 was backwards compatible with the 2600. And yes, you could use, there was a light gun. It came with the XC and you could use it for Sentinel on the 2600 and like crossbow and alien brigade on 7800 and Sentinel across the street, across the um, seas. Let's see, in late, in the late 80s, 2600 Junior was just 50 bucks. Yeah. How do you avoid the gun? I think you jump at the right time or something. California Games is a really is a really good um 2600 conversion. Do the do you change lanes? No, it's not where you snap. It, you have pretty pretty good control. It's not snaps like yeah, like Excite Bike locks you in, right? But that's not the case here. The sound when you're running was used for like engine sounds in any games where like you were flying in a plane or something. And also sometimes used for crowd sounds. All right, level one's in the books. The fun is back. Go, oh, yes, siree. It's the 2600 from Atari. Oh, come on. He's supposed to get tired at some point. <laughs> I just fell in the chasm. Oh, terrible. I enjoy live streaming, but sometimes my gameplay skills take a hit when I do. Come on, 
because I know I've done better in this game than I'm doing tonight, but of course it's been a while too. Forget who nominated this game. Was it you, Satoshi? Someone nominated this game on the Discord, and I'm thankful they did, because it was good to get back and try it again, and I'm glad I had a copy already, because I did look on eBay and did see some cop, some, at the time, some, oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, he got me. So I think I'll I think I'll try one more round. Been playing for um a little over a half hour. So let's see, is there anything in the chat real quickly I need to address? My my parents, Mark says, bought me a twenty six hundred junior in eighty five. I think my neighbor had one. California games, by the way, you play the um You, you play play the BMX racing is really good on the 2600. It might be my favorite version of that event in any port. Kid you not. The hacky sack's actually solid too, and so is the skateboarding. It only has four ports or four games of because I think the computer version had like seven or something. Um, but three of them are really good. The surfing is like my least favorite. It's not that enjoyable. <laughs> oh, I thought I would get him. Okay, end of, end of level one. How, why can I not? Sometimes it seems like he slows down, but then he, I don't understand. Like he's catching up to me and he's, I'm not doing anything. Oh, now he catches down. It's almost like certain lanes make him faster or slower in this level. See, down at the bottom now he got slower. Huh, I wonder if there's something to that. Like he's faster either on top or the bottom and it alternates. Uh, I wanted to do that. I don't know how that person did it. Like I said, I saw someone do the the jump before the bomb, do a double jump. I mean, they may have been using like um, tool assisted speed run te techniques. You know, they using an emulator. That's not how I want to end Acme Mines. I might, I'll, okay, I'll do one more round. That's it. California games on the NES. I'm trying to think if I um, played it. Jeremiah says surfing is his favorite event on the Lynx, and I think surfing's a lot better. I, I think I think that is. I think the last game released on it, people are talking about how late games came out. I think the last game released on the 2600 was Clax over in Europe. Was it Fatal Run? I thought it was Clax. I can be corrected. I won't be offended. Oh. Let me just try to get a good high score. I think I might just try a couple, like, I wanted to see because like it, it seemed like that one time I st I went turned back and he slowed for a second. Did you see that? Like not there. I think that's how this game operates. I think if you divide the row into like lines, I think some lines for the coyote make him go fast and some make him go slow. I want to get that bird seed. See, he got slow up there. I think I figured out figured out the programming. I think I think that's what they do now. 
No, I have to start over. Because I was at a thousand. When you die, you lose your streak. Makes sense. I'm just trying to get points now. I want to get a high score before I say goodnight. That was terrible. Let's see if I can do better than that. <laughs> this channel is a happy place. I'm glad you find that find it that way, Mark. Okay. Let's just try to see if I can like the high score was close to forty thousand. I want to see. Oh. So I'm not trying to go complete levels. I'm just trying to build up my score. Of course, the best the best gamers can do both, right? I'm not one of them. So I'll give a few tries of just doing high scores. And then I'll call it a night. Oh, come on. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I tried to hop by him. See, almost. Almost. Satoshi says the final game was called Acid Drop in 1992 in Europe. Yeah, but what was the last one Atari made? But yeah, you might be right there. Would I ever play Pac-Man in black and white mode? I might. I don't even know what black and white mode does in this game. Let's see. Does nothing. <laughs> At least I got a thousand points for that. It's really interesting, like, playing for a high score. I want to jump by him, and you can't. Let's reset. Two players is alternating, by the way. In case anyone was wondering. Ah, uh, let's get a better start. This is just a high score time this time. Once I get a solid one, I'm going to call it a night. I'd like to get 40. I think I can. With a little bit of... With a little bit of luck, because that one one, that one game I had like 33. I don't know that you even get bonus points for completing the levels. Ah, come on, Phil. You could do better than that. Ah. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just need to call it a night. But I, I, I mean, I had that one game where I, felt I just got in a good rhythm. Oh, good. I thought I was about to die there. Oh, that now bad start. I'll stick. I'll stick with this one for now. Oh, that was great. I don't think I've ever done that before. Had him come back after me and get hit. Okay, let's try again. I really want to get a better score. Okay, we're up to 400. We want to get to that 1,000. Ah. That truck. No! Let's see. Satoshi says the final Atari made game was Xenophobe in North America and Clax in Europe. Oh, and, and in Europe. Oh, so because Clax never came out in the state, so maybe that's why I'm confused. For some reason, I thought it was Clax, though. That came out later. Oh, 
That was a good start. I like how the coyote's just watching me get hit. Ah, oh, come on. I can do better. I think once I get past 30, I need to call it a night, so I'm not doing this all night. I missed one. Tried to go back and get it, and I couldn't. <laughs> that was good. Can I get that little one? He's blocking me. Oh, let's start again. You really want to get a string of a thousands going. 500, 600, 700, 800. Oh. Oh. Man. I was just missing them. Left and right. Look at that. Nice string going. Oh, okay, I'll keep going. That was a good string. Oh, I pressed my luck too, too far there. There we go. Good. That was a good one. 38,800. I don't know if it's good enough, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, 38,800. Let me type that into my Discord. If you want to play along, it's just for fun. It's running to the 15th, which is tax day. I'm so happy I got my tax return done finally. So let's see. I don't I don't know if that's good enough for first, though. First is no. Because first is 39,600. Maybe I'll try again some other time. So 38,800, right? Yeah. From the stream. I'll put a link for the Discord server if you got, if anyone wants to join it. If you're not a part of it already, let me just find out where I put it. Do, do, do. Where's my little document that has the link? Channel link and Discord stuff. That sounds like it. And you can you can emulate it if you don't have the cartridge that's allowed. So let me do that. Yeah, I I like to get my taxes done sooner, and it is, um, it is something that uh that I I finally I used to do TurboTax all the time but then one year I overlooked something and it ended up costing me cuz I had to go back and have it fixed and so I decided that instead of paying the money for TurboTax um you know it wasn't it you know it was like a $100 more or whatever to get a professional to do it but I found a really nice professional and and it's so much Oh, no more late hours or fretting. So I just, I have some unique tax situations that I have to take care of. So it really helps that if I, if I just, if I just worked a nine to five job and got a, you know, a W2 and I could do that myself, but I have some other things I had to do. I do not have a 7,800 game drive. No, I don't. Um, let's see what's going on. So Yami says, good night. Natasha played, her brother played this as a kid. Very cool. I'm just saying, thanks for this. And a, thanks for the stream, Brandon. Thank you. That's okay. You don't have to join the Discord if you're not a Discord fan. I understand. Beep, beep, or meep, meep. Joe Van says, I got mine back last month. Had to buy a new transmission for my car. 
3500 bucks, so it's gone already. Oh, I'm sorry. That's tough. Yeah, taxes stress me out. Doing taxes is one of the more stressful things. My favorite controller when playing Atari games is the Japanese Mega Drive Sega Arcade Power Stick as micro switches. Oh, very good. So the North American does not. I did not know that. I learned something tonight. What is it about Atari games that makes you always say just one more and next thing you know it's 3 a.m.? Well, especially when you're doing like the high score things. Good gameplay doesn't age. You know, graphics do, sounds do. I just noticed when the trucks get you and then gets a coyote way off screen, you still get points for the trucks. Yep. I need to consider doing streams that are more like game roulette. Oh, maybe I could do something like that sometime. Definitely helps me to just know what I'm doing, though, too. Oh, he passed away. I'm sorry. 27. That's young. Sorry, Natasha. Okay, tax avoiders. Maybe I should do tax avoiders come streams. All right. Anyways... Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I need to get ready for Betty Bye. It is 1130 here. So good stream tonight. Thank you so much. Lots of action. Sorry if I ignored anyone. Didn't see anything. I couldn't get, I couldn't keep up with everything. So I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chats. Natasha and Tony really appreciate that. And I'm going to bed. So you guys have a good one and I'll see you later.